Thank you very much for that, Kyle and Alan. Yourself, any vinyl records? No, no, I'm all new school. New school? Yeah. Not old school? New school. Well, isn't painting a little old school as a craft? Uh, it is, but you know what, though? I think my stuff is kind of new school. I take the Fair old enough. stuff and put a new spin on it. The old stuff being nature yeah. that's around forever, so you can't go wrong. This is uh, Alan Milne. Let me get to the point. <laughs> this is Alan Milne, and we showed you his stuff right off the top of the show. You do this beautiful uh, landscaping, uh, very artistic, and, and camera woman Alexa said that it almost looks like it's computer generated because the lining is so precise. Tell us a little bit about your work and what inspires you. Well, you know what? Uh, Group of Seven, Lauren Harris, as well as some other contemporary Canadian artists uh, really inspired me. Uh, you know, take that, as I said, sort of old traditional landscape and put a new spin on mm -hmm. sort of your stereotypical landscape. And uh, like I said, Lauren Harris definitely grown up really appreciating his style and his artwork and uh, how he could take a mountainscape and uh, you know, you know exactly where it is, but uh -huh. you know, he put his own twist on it. And that's what I've done, or hopefully. And when I'm looking at your stuff, you obviously love color. You've got purple trees mm -hmm. and, and and red skies, and it's. Yeah. I love the color. How important is it for you when you're you're looking at landscape? Do you visualize it in this kind of psychedelic way that you're seeing colors <laughs> that aren't there? Well, you know what? I mean, my philosophy on life is just I'm a. Uh, you know, glasses half full type of person, yeah. and so I, I like to put that into my art, bright, bold colors, and I guess that's the way I like to see the world. We should make note of our third little friend down here. Hi, sweetie. You have your family around you, and and it's great to see that you've incorporated them into this experience. How is it to balance your artwork and then your family life and everything else in your life? <laughs> uh, that's always been interesting, uh, you know, family first, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I, I do what I can, and uh, well, that's why I, you know what, what you see here is most of what I've got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. One of the things I love about the White Ave Art Walk is it's very interactive. You can you can talk yes. to people right in front of you and, and explain what drives you creatively. And you just had a woman come up to you and say that she still has one of your pieces that she bought a few <laughs> years ago hanging in her living room. That, that must be the best feeling in the world. It is, you know what, definitely the Art Walk. I mean, that's one incredible aspect of the Art Walk is being able to talk to people, tell them the stories behind the paintings. And I, I think people really appreciate that as well as just being able to talk to the artist. I know that's the way my mm -hmm. wife and I have bought art in the past is, you know, uh, where we go places where you can actually speak to the artist and, and like I said, hear the story. Yeah, we were talking to Kim, the organizer of the event, right off the top of the show, and she was she was talking about the fact that, that people love to have a story for, for the art that they buy because they like to have it as a talking piece. So when guests come over, yeah. they can they can tell the story of the person that they bought it from. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, completely agree. You know, I mean, because every piece of art does have a unique story. Uh, whether it's a, you know an interesting hike that uh, found this great view, mm -hmm. or, or whether it's the bright colors that I put into this particular piece, how I interpreted that particular landscape, yeah. every piece does have a, a really cool story. So I always like to hear from the artists what they think of the art community here in Edmonton, yeah. because you are in it every day, and, and you're working with people that are so artistic, and you have so many avenues to draw inspiration from. What is it like for you here in Edmonton as an artist? You know what? It's interesting because, you know, like you think of Edmonton as being a little more, uh, I don't know. What, oil and gas? Yeah, oil and gas, <laughs> but very much into the arts. Very yeah. much. Uh, like I've actually had shows in some other big cities, and Edmonton, I, I always seem to do the best to really support and get behind the arts. I mean, you take a look at the summer festivals, mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, it truly is wonderful, all the different things that we have to do, especially in the summertime. There, it, the the yeah. possibility is to do something for free. Technically, it's free to just walk down the street and, and see beautiful artwork, and it's one of the best experiences that you can have. I agree. I mean, you know what? The sun's shining, yeah. 300 artists, a lot <laughs> yeah. of really cool stuff, you know, I mean, all around us. So. Yeah, it's, it's cool. I was making a joke with Darlene. She's another artist up the street who does beautiful oil and canvas. Uh, is there ever any ever competition yeah. between artists? Are you are you <laughs> eyeing up the other guy's work and maybe a little jealous that he's getting a little more attention? Uh, or yeah. what, what's the atmosphere like with so many artists in such a such yeah. as a small space? I mean, I suppose politically correct answer would be, oh, no, no, no. But no, of course. I mean, you know what? Uh, a good friend of mine, Joe here. You know, oh, talented Joe I, Reimer. Yeah, we always chat about, you know, uh, how each other is doing. And you know what? I, I, I'm i just thankful to mm -hmm. be around a bunch of uh, great artists, really cool artists. Right. So. Well, Alan, I know you have a website, so let's pitch that to everyone and get that in there. Where can they find your art? 
It would be alanmilne.com or on Facebook, Alan Milne Arts. And so it'd be A L L A N M I L N E.com. There we wow. go. There we go. And we had that verbally. Everyone below, high fives. I've done enough handshaking. Right. High fives, sweetie. Good job. Yeah. Thanks so much, Alan. All we'll right. be right Thank back you. on Shaw TV.